When you first get your Datamax system with ProDash, the first thing we need to do is calibrate the Datamax using the desktop software. So this is the process where we write down where we have each of the sensors physically installed. We go into the desktop software, we tell the software where each of them are installed, and then we send the calibration back via the SD card. Once that process is done, then we are ready to start editing the ProDash. So the first thing we wanna do is get it set up for your sensors. So we wanna swipe down so that we get to the home screen and then go ahead and hit on the settings button. And here you'll see a red caliper button. This right here is gonna learn your particular sensors. So we're gonna hit yes. And then down here, you'll see where it says discovering sensors. And then it should say a certain amount of sensors found, 13 there. So now that we've got our sensors found, we are connected to the data logger. So if I use my RPM simulator, you'll see our RPM is connected to the data logger now. So the next thing we wanna do is we wanna customize the gauges for your particular setup. Um, we have oil pressure here. You may wanna have boost pressure or fuel pressure or water temperature there. So to edit these gauges right now, we can't click and do anything on them. Uh, this is by design, so we don't want you to accidentally do something when you don't mean to. So to edit the gauges, we wanna swipe down to get to the home screen, then click on settings, and then hit the lock icon here. Now that we're in edit mode, we can scroll down and you see we've got this different background color. This means that we're now in edit mode. So if I wanted to, I could come here and click on edit gauge. And now I can choose what I want this particular gauge to be connected to. I can connect it to the magneto. I can connect it to boost pressure or whatever I want. I can change the gauge sensor size and make it bigger or smaller. I can make it a different type of gauge, either full needle dial, uh, alphanumeric, which is gonna be text, switch display, record a thermometer. And then I can also choose how fast that needle and that text on the, the, the number value will update. Over here, I can choose the gauge range itself. So if I actually have a peak of 8,500, I'm gonna change this to 9,000 RPM. Um, I can change the scaling. I can also do the target and the, the gauge warning. So right now we've got the warning at anything that's greater than 7,800. Uh, and if I hit save here and use my RPM simulator and go above that 7,800, you'll see that warning right there. So that's basically your shift light or your warning light, and you can do that to any one of the gauges. Now, one of the other cool things we have is the ability to set target areas. So let's say I wanted my water temperature to have a certain temperature before I launch the car. If I go to edit gauge, I can go to target and I can tell this I want it to be 145 degrees and I want it to be plus or minus 30 degrees. And then when I hit save, you'll see we now have a green section inside of here that if the needle is in, I know I'm good to go. Now, one of the other interesting things you can do as well is you can change the needle colors and the text colors. So if I wanted to, I could come over here and change this to red and red and red. And now that is red as well. So you've got the ability to change the name, the needle, and the actual text color. Uh, once you are done, uh, you just swipe back to the home settings, go to settings, and then click on the lock icon, and now everything is locked in place. And now you are ready to rock and roll.